All right, YouTube, back. Got a special, got a little surprise today. What I got? I already cut the box open. I ain't dug in it yet, so we're gonna see what's up in here. Let's see what we got. We got a little all shaped performance magazine. Let's see what we got in here. Modern roller riding. Okay, what else in here? Shipping and GMC parts. Hmm. Let me look through that. So, let's see what's up in here. See what I got in today that we got to work on. Some of y'all probably know because y'all probably had this experience. Oh, so. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There it go. Cold edition. Gate is in. Finally got me some. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna um, shoot, shoot a nice little video um, installing. Installing the gauges. Go right there. Definitely gonna look good, definitely. But yeah, I'm gonna turn y'all back home. I'm gonna open this box up and um, we're gonna shoot a video. So, uh, probably, like I said, I'm gonna get these gauges in. Uh, definitely gonna have to do some wiring. And at the same time, I'm gonna be cleaning up some wiring. Uh, think about moving. I'm gonna move this over there somewhere. Uh, these wires right here are my instrument panel wires for, for the old gauge. Uh, Cause I used to have the Intellitronic gauges in here. So I already had to cut these up so I could just connect. But with the code of digital, everything connects to that box, this box right here. So I need to find a place where I'm gonna put this box at. Um, I'm thinking about up in here somewhere. As y'all can see. Maybe it's sitting on top of this up here. Um, also I'm thinking about right here. I've seen somebody have theirs back here somewhere, but I don't know, see how that's gonna fit or what the fitment is. I thought about taking this out and putting it right there, but you can see how big it is, so I don't think it's gonna fit right there. Um, I'm gonna have too much going on back there. I don't want it back there. I could set it. Could set it back there, cause I'm gonna have a um, oh, what's it called? Um, can't think of the name. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right here. So it'll cover all that. Have all that covered if I did set set it back there. But um, I'm gonna take my time with this one and make sure I plan out where I'm gonna have the wires going. Cause like I said, I'm I'm cleaning up all this when I do this. These two wires are for like the um when you open the door the light come on so I'm gonna have me a LED strip going across so I'm gonna try to hook all that I'm trying to hook all this up because once I put it in there it ain't coming back out so uh, I know you gotta cut some of these tabs off so it can fit in there uh, I got this, I need to clean it up. I got all these pieces too. Cause once I put it on there, that's it. I finally know how much gas I got. <laughs> um, What else, what else, what else? Yeah, I got all my wires, my, that I need to bring. This looks like it'll hook up to this box. I'm gonna show y'all what's in this box with the um, Dakota digital gauges. Um, now you got the gauges. You got the uh, control box, which I'm gonna show you where I think I'm gonna put it at. Uh, other stuff that comes with it. Uh, you get wires for the. This is what the temp temp 
sensor, oil sensor, uh, and then your um, for the transmission. Also, you get all these fittings. Uh, I don't put two of the fittings on. I'll show y'all here in a minute. And you get you know all your instructions and also this cable right here connects um, from the box to the uh, gauges. And also you get like another little switch off in there also. And you get all the stuff, all the instructions, all of that. So can't mess it up. So oh yeah. This is the structure for all your fittings. I already done put on the um, water and the oil pressure, so I'm gonna show y'all that. Back at the car, I'm gonna show y'all um, the original oil pressure, I mean, or not, the water temperature sensor um, goes right there, but my crazy self broke it, uh, over tightened it. Uh, so I gotta get another one. But the one that comes in the, um, Dakota Digital, I put over here on this back side. See it right there, and I didn't break that one. So um, that uh, have a, that wire I showed y'all. It'll connect and go into the inside, and you'll leave your regular one on here because, from my guessing, the computer still has to read the um, the temperature and stuff to keep the fans on and all that. So. I'm pretty sure there's a way to wire this stuff up. I'm about to look it up, but for right now, I'm just, I'm gonna have it like that. Um, oil pressure sensor is right there. It's in the head wire, which all these wires are gonna go uh, right there. Um, control box. I'm thinking about putting it. I seen somebody have theirs up in here. Uh, something like that. Uh, really don't want it sitting on this, but it don't. Because I don't want it doing this when I'm turning and stuff like that. So I might put some sticky stuff on the back of it. I got some right here already. I'm going to get some real good sticky stuff. Man. them up there like that so I had to make sure I got enough room to but um also I could I don't know this thing kind of big in pictures it looks small but that may be my best bet up in there and just run the wires through here but I wire it up all out here Tighten everything up then stick it in there. So uh so I got my oil and water in. I just run those wires. My fuel sending unit. It's one of these. Uh damn check engine. Oh it does have a check engine, so I can. Um, that one right there. Let's see, uh, tech, speed out, I wonder if that's my, I think it's that one, that be one of those wires might be that one right there. So I'm not going to need this one, this one is the oil for the original. But anyway, but yeah, we are just got the um, sending the two sending units that I'm gonna use in. I'm gonna hook up the wires and fish them through, and then um, we're gonna move on to something else. So I'll cut y'all back on. All right, you two, I'm back. Um, I moved my ODB2 port on this side, shortening the cables up. I'm about to wrap them with some black tape and uh, zip tie them up. Uh, I went ahead and put some of this, I guess you call it, um, for air conditioning stuff, that this tape or whatever, you wrap around vents and stuff. Uh, I'm 
from the layer up here. So when I put the box up there, it can sit on that. Uh, I might put a layer on the bottom of this, just to make sure. I don't think any consolidation gets in there or whatever, just but just in case. So, um, but yeah, that's what I'm working on. Um, like I said, for getting these wires straight. Uh, I'm just gonna come off these wires with a little spade connector and get them all ran up here. Uh, I don't have my labeler, so um, later on I'm gonna label all of them before I hook them up to the control box. And um, we get all that hooked up, put it up there. So I'm gonna cut y'all back on. All right, back again, YouTube. Uh, got a couple wires ran. Um, these are all wires that I just had a little spade connector and I connected to them. Uh, I'm gonna wrap all this up once I get it done. Like I say, the control box gonna go up there. Uh, I got my uh, oil and temp, fuel, uh, ground, constant. the other power high beam and that was that one because <laughs> I'm trying to use the same um, it goes to tan and white yeah my brake say the brake so brake fluid is low or whatever um, I got to extend my check engine light wire I don't know, I got some wire right here. Let's make it yellow and bring it over here. Um, I don't know, this says it's a power wire. Also, tomorrow I'm going to label all these ones. This says it's a power wire, but I really don't know. So, I know um, I'm going to have to maybe go back in the harness somewhere right in here and make sure that is a power wire. I mean, it, it when I t um, test it, it's, it's power, but I don't know if it was for something or what was it for? Was it just an extra wire I ran or what? But um, this wire right here that says tech, I'm not sure if it was my, um, my actual tech wire or the, I think the VSS wire. So here, the tech should come from the uh, from the computer. Um, my um, speed, yeah, the speed sensor. Where is it? At? Uh, right there. I don't know if that's that one that says VSO. 4K, that, that might be it. I'm gonna have to go back and look in the um, at my diagram for the wire harness and see if that's that that wire. So that might be my VSS and that one's my tag, or hopefully that's not my tag and that's my tag. I don't, I don't know. I'll look it up later tonight. But um, I'm gonna stop here for today and uh, I'll continue in the morning. Hopefully tomorrow. I'll be putting it in, testing it out, um, make sure it powers, powers up and all that stuff. So, um, like I say, I don't wait, I'm not going to have different parts of the video, so I'm going to turn you back on. You'll be the next day.